This is a classic, Week by Sisters with Voices, also known as SWV. The Grammy award-winning trio made this an anthem in the 90s, and this week you can catch them in Milwaukee as part of the Black Arts Fest. Patrice Harris joins us now to talk about uh, what you can expect for the festival this weekend. So I'm not kidding, when I hear <laughs> Week, like ever since it came out 20 years yeah. ago, almost 25 years ago, it's been a jam. It has been, <laughs> and I was um, looking for acts and seeing who was out, and I just went on YouTube and I was refreshing myself with SWV, and I was dancing in my office, <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna shut the door. Yeah. And I was like, we're putting in an offer on this, <laughs> and if it kills me, I am gonna turn off my radio, my phone, everything, and I am gonna see 10 to 15 minutes of the show no matter what. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's great that they're coming to Milwaukee, not the only headliner for the festival. Who else is coming? Right, um, they're on Mil the Miller Lite Oasis, and then over at the Johnson Controls World Music Stage, we've got Betty Levette. It's, so it's a big switch from SWV happen over to the blues, but her voice is just incredible. And she's one of those artists that can take a song, no matter the genre, and she just turns it into the blues. So I think it's a real treat for people, even if they're not familiar, they should check it out. Uh, and so, so this is the music side, but there are so many other things offered from the Black Arts Fest. What else uh, are, can people take part in? What are you looking forward to the most? I always, well, I didn't get to spend a lot of time there last year, but one of our focuses is providing a platform for up and coming artists and some of those artists are just you know regular artists the painters that people don't get to see um, sculptors so we have the Burke Properties Fine Arts Pavilion and artists are able to come show their work sell their work talk to people about their inspiration and at no cost to them. Why is that so important, especially in a city like Milwaukee, you have a lot of budding entrepreneurs? It's, I think there's a lot of budding entrepreneurs, but if people don't know about them, the bud goes away. Yeah. Um, I don't know, that's not the right way to say it, but I, you know, and if the community doesn't know about them and can't support them, they have no base. And this is one way, and it's a very large platform where we're able to give them at least a platform for a day to a lot of people. And the artists from last year were so excited about it. And some of them were emailing me throughout the year. Is this coming back? Yeah. You know, how do we help it come back? What can we do to help you? And that it was just so touching because you know you really made an impact. Well, thank you so much. And of course, art makes an impact on everyone yes. who comes encounter with it. For more information on the Black Arts Fest Milwaukee, head to tmj4.com slash rockstarsummer.